Hello everyone, what is going on? Spirit Wolf here, welcome along to the channel. Good evening to you all and welcome along to part four of Biomutant. Yes, so in the last episode we made it up to this encampment, the Jagging Jagging Port, and we've now got to go and take over uh these territories over here starting with the whereabouts um play the my raid fortress this is where we're gonna take over we've got to take over all this section so let's crack on and let's go so don't forget you can uh uh, do a massive great big shout out to Broken Mike who's also doing this gameplay as well um, he's doing the light side and I'm doing the dark side so let's crack on with the gameplay let's go what was that that was a pot Rolly poly. Diddle it, diddle it, diddle it, diddle it, diddle it, diddle it, diddle it. Hi. Alrighty, so. Did we pee on this post? I can't remember. Let's see. Yes. We have indeed. Okay, so we are going over here now to another world. That way. Pass through the forest clearing. Oh. There be a chest. Uh, is that better than... I don't think it's better than what we've got already. So we'll use that for scrap. That's a good find. A. Onwards we go. Oh, what's going on? Where? Missed me. Hey, level three people, let's go. Nice. And I finally figured out how to reload my weapon, which is, uh, R1. Happy days. Alright, so we got to level up. Let's quickly, uh, do that. So, we'll go... Let's have a look at our board. So, luck is our lowest at the moment, so let's raise that one a little bit. Well, thank you. Yeah. What was that? No idea. <clears throat> uh oh, here are you. Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. It's a mump! Hit hard by evolution, the Wonka ones especially. Deformed and unfurled. Ow. Oh, no range, no. I really want to go in with my melee weapon, but I don't want to. Almost got him. He's a gunner, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Is there anything else over here we should know about? Nope. We got a 
tap health regen will take you and there's a chest here as well uh dodge no we'll scrap you energy yes right so we defeated him so let's do a quick save nice onwards we go Right, so we get should be yeah we're coming up close now so now we got to, this is where we're going to be taking over the territories hopefully time is lost on this place but it evokes a tingling sensation there's something special about it drawing you closer i think this is where we, this is our village and where yeah the childhood village make sure we pee on the post Noise. So that's our third checkpoint. So we got so we can fast travel there. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Oh. Echoes of a long lost past like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. Okay. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. Been on my own swimming. I'm not into Wong Fu. I'd l sure like to. Uh, let's go. Been on my own. Goop says some choose to be lonely because no one understands what they're going through. If that's you, he'll try to help you, if you let him. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Why teach me as you, as in now, I'm, I, I'd be grateful. Uh, let's go, why? Knowing how to swim won't solve life's hard problems, but at least one of them won't be drowning. Yeah, true. Oh damn. You can swim in most waters while in very deep water you slowly lose energy and when you're out you'll drain. Oh no. Quick! Made it. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? You almost drowned me, at least I learned how to how to not swim. I need to keep it keep at it way to go don't let the sound of the waves drown out your spirit but you need practice lots of practice okay judging by your mooma's look it seems you forgot something uh oh you promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down it's time to go wong fu is easy i've been looking forward to it i lost track of time let's go i've been looking forward to it the dedication to training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that Wang Fu is in your blood. You should know, practice makes perfect. She'll see you at the village square. I have things to do. See you there soon. I'm lo I love training with you. She says that's good. With a passion for learning, you will never cease to grow. <clears throat> okay, new main quest, Wong Fu Training. Boo, boo, boo. another familiar face with lights on his mind. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. Thingamajig. If you pick it up, I don't have to... I don't mind picking up trash. It's your duty. Uh, it's your duty. He thinks you're truly a kidling of your environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. Alrighty. Oh, what's that out there? 
button smash. Uh, is there another one? Oh, there is another one. He wonders what usefulness you found. You're an expert, I'm not sure. Something old to make something new. He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. I don't want... Uh, I doubt what I found is useful. I'm ready to get my hands dirty. The things you make are great. I'm ready. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. Welcome to crafting. You here you can modify existing weapons and armors or if you're feeling creative create ex entirely new weapons from scratch. Oh. With the right pieces you can craft your own weapons. To start crafting your weapon, first select the base. This defines which kind of weapon you will craft. There are three different kinds of melee weapons. Crash, one-handed slash, or two-handed slash. Okay. Hard bat. Uh, so, oh, so we can choose a different handle. We can have a banana. We'll just start from the top for a moment. We've made a banana bat. Ha <laughs> ha, brilliant. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. It's what I know how to make. I wanted something cutting edge. I made something for Booba. I can't be there if I'm here. What's on the schedule today? Sorry I'm late. I was helping Gizmo. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. I'm just not there yet. Gone. I'll try harder. That's all she's ever asked of you, that you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Alrighty. They look determined. Better watch out. asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. Are you scared of me? I'm late for training. I don't want any trouble. Are you scared of me? He's not scared of anything, least of all you. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. I'd rather be a nobody than you. No one needs to get hurt. Why are you pushing others? They push each other to become better, and sometimes someone gets pushed down along the way. Banana bat for the win! Yeah!
button smash. Oh, what happened? What? No! Not my banana. She asks if you're hurt. Their MVs are something because I have you. They're insane. We should invite them to train. <clears throat> she says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the rest they can get. They stole my banana. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. They stole my goddamn banana. Banana cedars. All right, where do we go? This way. <coughs> Is there a chest over here we should know, right? Yeah, never know. Make it quick, uh, if you tell Muma, family come first, if you tell Muma. You'll talk to her, sure, but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions and future. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. Okay, so armor, basically. He's curious to see what you found. It's our home, your stuff, I'm not sure. Something familiar to renew. He's also <coughs> and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bionucleus pool and refresh his DNA. He says it's about time you learn how, and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. Okay. When looting, you will find uh, add-ons. Those can be crafted in onto an item to increase the stats of the item. To upgrade armor and clothing with items, select a slot and add on, then press square. Alrighty. Uh, so let's go arm. Oops. Plus five, seven, nine. Okay, so there's one nine, so we want that nine. Wherever it was. There. Craft. Hey. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. You should take it with you, wear it to practice. I sure will. Look forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. <clears throat> Alrighty, so now we gotta go to Muma. Uh, this way. Size that dude. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. Better late than never. I'm here now, ready to go. I'm easily distracted. I'll work on it. <laughs> Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down.
Lol. you proud I did all the work I'll try harder next time thank you thanks you for being such a good student been working on a present for you with the help of gizmo and whiz you should go see him and find out what it is you deserve it is it my banana bat uh oh we gotta chase the uh Ah, where'd he go? Catchy. Your Muma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. A it's a green grasshopper. Like this has built-in old world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. I'll be under surveillance. Will it record what happens to me? That's good. If anything bad happens, I'm under surveillance. You should think of it as watching over you when she can't. Your Muma says you look tired. No wonder. It's been a long day. I don't want to want it to end yet. True, it's getting late, but what a day it's been. Says a good rest makes you ready for tomorrow. Hey. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. <sighs> uh -oh. Nothing could stop Lupin Lupin from setting the world on fire. Muma urges you to blaze a trail. Uh, kidling will learn to dread fire. Can we run? No, we can't even run. That's just adding fuel to the flames. That was close. Wait for me. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Come on. Your Muma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. Here it comes, the past coming to haunt the present. What about me? Come on. Button smash. You must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Muma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. Come on. We got this. You're in deep surf. Yeah. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Okay, so we for me? Yes. Oh shit. Run! Go! Come 
morning. I oh, know I'm about to blink and drain. No! Defeated? No! <laughs> Oh, I messed that up. Uh-oh. Is she dead? Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. Oh wow, she did. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. Oh, his father's dead as well. Damn. So he lost both parents. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. The path forward. Get to the clearing. Or can we save that there? Yes, we can. Oh, crafting menu. You can now craft weapons and modify your gear in the crafting menu. Okie dokie. Uh oh. What is going on here? The tribe's caught a fluffy hog. Better watch out. It's no pet. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose. Hack and slash. need to heal.
Level four. Let's go. They've received news a Ronin joined the tribe's ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. A group of Jagni warriors are already waiting for you at Myriad's Vespidot outpost. You should hurry there and help them storm the outpost. We'll show no mercy, is it? Far from here, we are strong enough. We will show them mer no mercy. Mercy is for the weak. The Jagni tribe seek no one's sympathy. Alrighty. Wait, can we loot this dude? That'll be a no. Alright, so we gotta level up. Level up! Alright, let's go... Diddly do strength. Yeah, let's go strength. A. Noise. Right, so... Let's do a quick save. Saved! So, this is the entrance to the uh, tribe, I'm guessing. Where it's uh, meet the war party. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to leave it there for this one. Really hope you all enjoyed this part. Uh, please do smash that like button. Slap any comments down below and press that great big red support button and notification bell for the next upload or go live. But until next time, peace out.